السلام علیکم یو آر واچنگ مائکرو بایولوجی بائی نمائن ان دس ویڈیو وی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اے فلورس اینڈ اسٹیننگ میتھڈ وچ از نون ایز اورامین فینول اسٹیننگ میتھڈ وچ کین وی یوز فار دا ڈٹیکشن آف مائکرو بیکٹیریم ٹیوبر کلوسس وچ از اے کوزیٹو ایجنٹ آف اے ڈیزیز نون ایز ٹی بی اور ٹیوبر کلوسس سو دس اورامین فینول اسٹیننگ ٹیکنیک از اے فلورس اینڈ staining method and uses a dye known as oramine phenol so oramine phenol is a fluorescent dye but first we'll understand what is a fluorescent dye or a stain Fluorescent dye or a stain is a kind of dye or stain when it bound to the surface of a cell and light falls on it, it re-emits light or it produces fluorescence. Such a stain is known as a fluorescent stain or dye. In this method, oramine phenol staining, we are using a dye oramine phenol, which is a, also a fluorescent dye. This oramine part of this dye is a fluorescent producing part. So, This oramine will bind to the mycobacterium tuberculosis lipid, cell wall lipid known as mycolic acid. So mycolic acid in the cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis. This oramine will bind to the mycolic acid present in the cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis. We are supposing this is a mycobacterium cell. So this oramine will bind all over the surface of the mycobacterium tuberculosis. When lights fall on it, UV light, ultraviolet or blue violet falls on it, it re-emits light. So mycobacterium tuberculosis, when we see under a microscope, fluorescent microscope, we see them as the yellow or green rods. yellow to green rods so in the very first step of the staining technique we use a fluorescent dye known as oramine phenol and the second step we will decolorize this light with the help of 1% acid decolorizer this will remove stain from all the cells except mycobacterium tuberculosis why it cannot remove my uh, stain from the mycobacterium tuberculosis because mycobacterium are acid fast bacteria their cell wall contain lipids that don't allow the acid decolorizing solution to remove stain from them so we call them as acid fast or afv acid fast bacilli all other cells are colorless now except mycobacterium tuberculosis then to darken the background to have a better contrast we can use methylene blue or potassium permanganate or potassium permanganate both of these dye any of these dyes can be used uh, to darken the background it's a chemical basically both of these can be used but uh, potassium permanganate is mostly preferred because it gives a better contrast so it is giving a good contrast or a better contrast or darken the background In the first step, or I mean phenol stain is used. In the second step, 1% acid declarizer is used. In the third step, methylene blue or potassium permanganate can be used to darken the background. Now we'll talk about the procedure of this staining method. Now we'll talk about the procedure of or I mean phenol staining technique. First of all, we'll make a smear. For example, this is a slide in the center of a slide. we will make a smear let it air dry when it is it is air dried we will fix it by passing over the heat or a flame we will fix it in the second step we will cover the smear the smear with oramine phenol 
we'll cover this smear with oramine phenol for 10 minutes after 10 minutes we will wash our slide with clean water if clean water is not available distilled water can be used in the third step we will cover the smear with uh, acid declarizer that is 1% acid declarizer that will declarize all the cell except mycobacterium tuberculosis then again we'll wash the slide for darken the background, we can use methylene blue or potassium permanganate. We'll cover this slide either with one of them for 10 seconds. We'll cover the, this slide for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, we will wash our slide. Then we will air dry the slide. We will, not, uh, we will never use blotting paper for any kind of staining that is suspected for mycobacterium tuberculosis. The last and the most important step of this staining technique is protecting the slide from direct sunlight or any kind of light. Because I use fluorescent stain, uh, if direct sunlight or any kind of light falls on it, it can fade the fluorescence that, that is produced by the oramine. So we'll cover the slide uh, through with the paper or any, we'll keep our slide in a box, in a dark place, in a dark box to protect uh, the slide. Then we'll use fluorescent microscope and use 40x lens to examine this light. When we examine this light using fluorescent microscope at 40x lens, we see through a microscopic field yellowish or green color rods are visible that are producing fluorescence we can easily see them against a dark background yellow to green rods against dark background using 40x lens that's it from this video if you have any question regarding or i mean phenol staining technique you can ask in the comment section for more videos regarding microbiology you can subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you